Kid Hawkins, Scratchman, a Pooh, and Killer all in the same room. Great way to start off the One Piece episode. This episode, for the most part, was broken up into a couple different sections, you could pretty much say. You got the beginning with seeing that they're forming an alliance. Then you also have the part where Luffy and the crew pretty much broke out of the chains, the sea prism chains. You also have Zoro and the crew running to catch the dragon. And then last but not least, you have the meetup between the crew. Uh, you know, the crew finally meet back up and whatnot. Now, I think that it was an awesome way to start off the episode. Definitely got me hype seeing all them together forming an alliance. And to be honest with you, it's really going to get more interesting from here on out with that because they're forming an alliance, but you also got Luffy and Law with their alliance as well. I'd imagine uh, when, you know, now that they're going to have these two alliances, I don't know if at some given point maybe they'll merge together because they'll be an even bigger threat or whatnot because it's always been like one of the big rules. Like, if you want to survive in the new world, you either got to form an alliance or work under a Yonko. And now that they got their alliances together, I I'd imagine none of them are going to work under a Yonko. At least any of what we've seen thus far, obviously. Maybe somebody that we haven't seen might work under a Yonko because, again, that's one of the big, uh, you know, uh, unspoken rules, so to speak. Uh, and I could just imagine, like, yo, if all of them formed an alliance with Luffy and Law, which I don't think Law would necessarily want, maybe Luffy might not give a shit or something, but... It, it would be freaking problematic for anybody to go up against. But st still, nonetheless, starting off the episode like that, very strong. Um, the animation this episode, again, kind of poor. Just kind of poor, to be honest with you. It's like, you see Law at some given shots, and he just looks totally off model. His nose looks real big out of nowhere. Uh, so the animation definitely wasn't really um, good in this episode. So that was a, a flaw of the episode. But it was good to see things moving along. They finally got out of the sea prism uh, chains. Well, some of them weren't actually sea prism stones. So uh, Law knew what he was doing. Law was very prepared. It shows that even throughout all these circumstances where he was kind of seemingly letting himself get captured, so to speak, he still had everything planned out from the get-go, and it really just shows Law's a fucking boss, but we already knew that, so we really didn't need to see that. But, you know, so we got that covered. Uh, the whole thing with uh, them uh, chasing after the dragon, there was a comedic moment in that that I liked, but other than that, it just felt like, ooh, I wasn't really feeling that either. Uh, I, I was glad that they finally got out the way with that as well. Because, you know, it felt like for a while, two events that were going on for a bit were them being captured in the cage, you know, Luffy, Law, and them, and Zoro and them chasing after the dragon to try to get them. So I'm glad that both of those things were resolved in this episode. It kind of moved everything forward. And just that final shot where they were all uh, teamed up together. You got Luffy, you got Smoker, you got Law. That was just an awesome shot. That was just an awesome shot. Also, we got Smoker and Tashigi back in their regular bodies. So everything kind of really moved in this episode a lot of things moved in this episode but the flaws of the episode definitely one is the animation two you still see some little fodder scenes from time to time of like fodder soldiers from um smokers crew and whatnot i, I do gotta say that i really admire tashigi's tenacity and her loyalty to her crew when she was saying yo i don't care i will beg i will grovel at his feet to get free to save my people that was something right there that i really respect and admire and it just shows Tashigi's character in general. She's a very loyal person, a very good person overall. Even when she has her big ass tits hanging out, she still has class, baby. So, liking that whole thing with Tashigi, it just showed more of her character in this episode of who she really is and how, how much of a good Marine she truly is, to be honest with you. To be on Smoker's team, G5, some, you know, some of the most quote unquote rotten, you know, low down people in there that people just look at like, ooh, G5. And she's actually that freaking nice and that loyal to the crew. I respect that. I really respected that with this episode. It just really gave an insight to her character. It gave an insight to how smart Lowell really is and how well prepared he is for things. And it moved things along. But the sloppy animation and some of the small scenes where it kind of just takes up time with the fodder and them running after Dragon was the low points of this episode. Give this episode a good three and a half out of five. Three out of five around there. It moved things along. But, again, it had its flaws here or there. Let me know what you think, first of all. The whole thing, now that they're together, are they going to start whipping some ass? Or, you know, how, how you think things are going to go down? Well, more than likely, I mean, what, Luffy and them are going to get their asses kicked, really. So you kind of can expect what's going to happen. It's just your overall thoughts of seeing this alliance. Do you think that Luffy, Law, uh, will either have a battle with them, with the new alliance, with Kid, uh, 
well, Kid and Killer, you know, they're connected. Well, but Kid, Scratchman, Apu, and Hawkins, are they going to, like, have a battle between the two crews? Or do you think they'll uh, unite at some given point to fight an even bigger threat? Maybe a Yonko or the government itself? Who knows? What do you guys think about that? Just share real thoughts of the episode. I think it was a pretty decent episode. That's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for that freaking awesome opening because that was a very strong opening for the episode. Just to see all these characters, like, going crazy and saying, yo, let's form an alliance as well. Freaking dope shit. I'm for that world, and as always, people, have an awesome day.